Now, before we can think about the various types of encoding models, it's first important to understand how the computer addresses and thinks about data. Now, we talked that it's all about ones and zeros, but those ones and zeros aren't on their own. It's actually always done in chunks of ones and zeros. So the most fundamental unit, right, a one or a zero, all by itself, is called a bit. It can either be a one or a zero. This defines the binary system. But at least in modern computing architecture for the last, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 years, nobody's really ever used just a bit of information by its own. It's actually always grouped together in a sequence of actually eight bits, which is known as a byte. And while that may sound a little confusing, it will start to make a lot more sense in just a little bit. Um, it's as simple as it sounds, though. This is just a sequence of eight ones and zeros next to each other in a row. So that could be as something like one one zero zero one zero one zero. There's eight ones or zeros all next to each other. It could be any arbitrary ones or zeros next to each other, but that sequence of eight of them comprises a byte of information. 